Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we have a massive game in the London Cup. It's a quarter final against Highgate Albion. It's a game that many have been anticipating and very excited for and it's a game that I'm sure will not disappoint. Last week's man of the match for me is going to go to Noah. I feel like he was very good in creating and just carrying the ball for us and he also battled very well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give Noah man of the match. Going into the lineup, we are going to start with, as usual, John in goal, Brad at right back, Ben, Tolu, and Reggie, Eric in midfield, George with him, and Noah, man of the match from last game. On the right wing, Sam, left wing, Eri, and up front, Thomas. On the bench, we're going to have Benny, Eman, Harry, Jr., and myself. Afternoon boys! Afternoon. Afternoon! How are we feeling today boys? Good. Boys, I don't think I need to stress the importance of today's game. We always speak every single week or every single year about winning as much as we can. This is London Cup. This is a cup where we know we can win if we play our game. At our strongest, we are easily one of the best teams in Sunday League ever. But, if you don't play like it, it means absolutely nothing. Manny, anything for you? Boys, um, work rate, we know, is, is the bare minimum. And when it comes against these Sunday League teams, like everyone's going to have a little bit of quality in their side, but to show that quality, you need the ball. So if we work hard off the ball, then we win the ball, we can use the ball and use our talent on the wins, especially. London Cup, great big game. Let's not walk off this pitch being ashamed of, ah, like, oh, we could have done better, or like how we felt against Hammersmith. I still always remember that, so it's in the back of my mind. So let's go making sure we've given our best. If we give our best and it's not enough on the day, it is what it is, but we have to make sure that's the bare minimum. Demand enough of each other, let's use the ball, move the ball. Let's not start slow. I always like to say first five, first ten, let's get it gone and see what they're about. I think when you do that, you see what their defence is about and it gives you confidence. But let's not mess about with it at the back like we were doing a couple of weeks ago and taking too much touches on the ball, myself included. Let's make sure we're cutting that stuff out. It's a big game, let's turn up. People expect a lot of us now to show it. Heard in Highgate, um, we've heard a few things about them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll bring their A game for sure. It's a big game. Uh, London Cup, this is actually the furthest we've been. The referee uh, checking the goalkeepers already. And uh, without further ado, the game is underway. Thomas plays it back to George and off we go. It is George on the ball. Uh, tries to play it to Sam. 19's missed the interception. Sam looks to cut inside. Gets to wriggle through there uh, in that little gap and he draws the foul. We know Sam can strike them from distance. Left footed, straight into the keeper's arms. Keeper's then going to proceed to bulldoze Tolu over and then smack the ball up the pitch. Uh, Reggie does well to hold up the nine. I'm just going to let it run straight through to John. John then goes to roll it out early to Noah. Noah, the loose touch. Nine picks it off his toes. Uh, plays it into the 26. Comes here to the 10. Let's it go into the 26. Plays it across the box. Comes back here to the 23. It's deflected wide of the goal. They've then taken the corner quickly. Comes out to the 26. Plays it back into the 23. This is clever play from Highgate. And uh, it's going to drop here to the number 10. He takes a shot. Deflected off Ben. That's a brilliant reaction. Save from John. And keeps the score at 0-0. Ball's up in the air for a challenge. Reggie wins the first ball. It's going to drop down here. Noah brings it down. But it's a loose touch over on this uh, near side with the number nine trying to size up Reggie gets one into the box and into John's hands 26 on the ball loose pass Eric picks up on it uh, looks to find Thomas's feet which he does he's got Noah inside Eric making a run to the left Noah does well to control it and escape away from the number 18 can he keep it going to pass into Thomas's feet he then plays one out wide here for Eric Eric with the tape around his knees uh, looking to cut inside cuts back outside sends the 14 uh, flying that uh, looks to cut one into the box Thomas is going towards the front post that's a good intervention there with that corner it's going to be Eric to take it right footed looking for the back post 23 gets his head to it it'll be another one Dan goes over to take it left footed floats it Ben looking to attack it's going to come back out here to Sam is he going to keep it alive and try and deliver again Eric calling on the edge of the box into the front post it's cleared by Highgate looking to escape now it's a ball out wide this number 23 he's done well to get uh, gets away from Noah as well can't keep it in play though and the referee pulls it back with the skipper at the back. Uh, looks to fake inside, gives it away to Noah. This could be a chance for UTR to capitalise. Eri out on this left-hand side, scored, scored a beautiful goal the other week uh, from a similar position. Uh, fakes, goes out to his left, uh, looks to cut back inside. He's blocked off, comes here to Eric. Still got possession, need more options though. It's Reggie here, Reggie loses it. Uh, number nine gets his body in front and that's an obvious decision. 26 on the ball. 
Uh, plays it into the feet of the 10. One touch back to the 14. 14 down the line. Flicks around the corner by, by the 9. This is a nice move from Highgate. Number 8 into the box. Just uh, rushes his shot, though. And it's into the side netting. But a brilliant move from them. John with the ball. Uh, rolls it to Tolu. And uh, it's a little bit short. Tolu closed down by the 9. He's got a very good work rate. He's causing problems in the early stages of this game. Number 9 gets away from Eric there. Looks to let one fly, maybe. It goes straight into the fence. Ben's just played this one to Eric. Uh, takes it. Shimmy's inside. Looking to get away from the number eight there. Under pressure there. Ben's giving it away loosely. And we're creating our own problems here. Eric's done well to win it. In a dangerous area, we need to get rid of it. Plays it back to Noah. And uh, Tolu's going to play this one out to Reggie. That's good. We've worked it out there. But very, very risky at the back at times. Reggie plays it down the line for Eri. I'm not sure he's going to make it. Captain's going to get there. And cut it to the 14. It's over with the 23. He's clearly got some pace and trickery on that far side. We'll be seeing a lot more of him, I'm sure. Bradley's uh, not dealt well with this one. It's number eight in behind, but he's recovered very well there. And John comes to claim. It's uh, flicked on by the 10. Comes to the 14. Doesn't initially get under control, but eventually does. Tolu comes across, shoves the number 10, and the Lino's gone down there as well. Uh, the linesman, hopefully he's okay. Looks like a bit of a, a, bit of a cheeky fall there. And, uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, onto the concrete. I think he's grazed his elbow. But hopefully he's good enough to continue because Lionel's are pretty short in Sunday League. Over 25 minutes have been played. Not much from UTR. To be honest, it's been all high gate. They've looked the more likely to score. Eric's won the ball off the 19, though, and he's breaking towards the box. Not many UTR shirts in support. And uh, he's lost the ball. Uh, we haven't done too much at this point. It's George into Sam, though, on the halfway line. Tries to thread one through to Noah. The keeper's quick off his line, but maybe too quick. It's a loose touch, and Eri's there to capitalise, maybe. Oh, my goodness. A goal-bound shot blocked by the number four. Fantastic positioning. Eri, good accuracy in the shot. Maybe just needed a bit more power to take it beyond the four. But the loose touch from the keeper, he knows instantly he's made a mistake. Eri controls it nicely, and it's going in. But the four's just done very well. Uh, still nil-nil. Eric on the corner, uh, right footed again, looking for a UTR head. Uh, it's headed away by Highgate and they look to clear it up the pitch to number nine. We're starting to get a little bit more into the game, still not quite there. This is Thomas doing well to hold up against these few. Uh, he's got Reggie in support. Reggie's pass just about goes through the number eight. Thomas with the back heel through the legs of the 14. It's Noah now, quick feet from Noah, little nutmeg. Can't get around the 99 and the 18 comes to support. Uh, almost through there. On the halfway line for Highgate, it's the number nine. Looks to spray one. Into the distance, Bradley cuts it out, but number nine looks like he's going to be first to the ball. Now Sam's done well to track back, and Ben knocks it forward there. Uh, Thomas is offside on that occasion. He's a very willing runner. You don't get many of these strikers in Sunday League that like to make those runs into the channels. As uh, his pass is cut out by Eric, it's cleared up the pitch by John, and it's going to be one for Noah to deal with, which he does very well. Brings it down nicely, absolutely plucked it. Uh, not really got too much support there. He's got Eric inside, Reggie there. He's got John if he wants to go back to him, but that nine is lively. So he's going to have to try and win a throw for us, which he does. So ball out wide from George to Bradley. Uh, Bradley looks to get one into the box. We've only got Thomas there. He's jumping. It's missed him. And the 14 nods it home. 23 on the ball on the far side. Uh, looks to play one down the line. I think we're claiming for an offside here, but the 9 seems to have made a very, very good run. He's got the 26 in the box and the 8 at the back post. Looks to clip one into the 26. Goes over Tolu. Hits Bradley and it's made its way in. And the goal, I have to say, has been coming. It's been high gate in the ascendancy and finally a goal to cap it off uh albeit a fortunate goal i would say they have deserved it man I, I can't lie and say oh no they've been a bad side or whatever i think that's a very good run obviously we haven't got the straight angle but i think from there uh, it looks on side to me so maybe we're calling and claiming for it falsely maybe the defense might agree uh, disagree with me sorry uh but the number nine clips in the shot is going way wide and bradley just can't get out of the way it's hit too, with too much power it's unfortunate So then we're a goal down, but we've been way off it today, really off it. It's a ball from Eric trying to find Sam. It's a challenge there from, uh, I think that might be the 19 and he's gone down injured. Yeah, it looks like he caught a sore one off of Sam. Um, let's look at this once more. Yeah, it's a ball there and Sam just accidentally steps on him after he's made the challenge. Um, but yeah, I think he's okay out here with the number nine on his left foot looks to swing one in it's blocked by Reggie but he doesn't know where the ball is number nine goes into the box goes to ground and the referee says no penalty I think that might be the right decision doesn't look like there was much contact if any do you guys think that's a dive or do you think it's a penalty does Eric clip him there he cuts it back and all I think Eric pulls out there so yeah um, I don't think that's a penalty 
14 on the ball. Gets to click one again. And uh, yeah, again, we've been second to it. It's a ball into the box there. Uh, comes back to the 23. He sets it to the 26. He takes a shot. It's blocked by Tolu. Uh, comes down here to the seven. Another challenge from Tolu. Out here to Reggie. And the referee blows his whistle for half time. But UTR, we have been way, way off it. Not our usual selves. We look very, very flat. Highgate, however, been very good. First things first, we know how f that was. We were second to everything. We didn't want to react. We didn't want to do. We didn't want to play football. We're all hiding on that bitch. We're hiding. Stop it. Do you want to go progress into the next round? Do you want to? Because by the looks of it, on that pitch, no one's a fucking play. That's the worst fucking 45 minutes I've seen UCR play in about three seasons. Into the second half, and one change has been made. Uh, I've been brought on for George. I think he's carrying the injury. And uh, number seven flicks it over my head there, leaves me bird gazing. Uh, it's round the corner from the number eight. Uh, 26 looking to find a pass out here to the 23. He's got support from the 16 if he needs it. It's the cut inside, maybe. Tries to find, find a pass into the box. It's blocked by Ben. And the shot on the follow up goes wide. It's uh, with Reggie now. He plays it out wide to Eri. Eri up against the 14. This would be good if he can get him isolated like this. Eri. Uh, looking to cut outside to the left again, takes it away from the 14 there. Eri cuts it back into the box, takes its time to come across, and my shot, not much in it at all. It's not really going to trouble him. It's up in the air. Eric wins the first ball. It's here for a challenge between myself and the seven, just knocks off of me, and Thomas does well. Take it away from the 14. We've got Eri on this left hand side again. It'd be nice to get him involved even more in this game. Eri there, he's got Thomas sort of uh, trying to support him there, but also in his way at the same time, and Eri draws the foul. I'm standing over this free kick, tried to wrap one into the box, too close to the goalkeeper and he's come and claimed it very easily. He's also going to look for the very quick option and uh, I have to cut back here and try and defend here. Uh, instead of letting it run out though, I've made the wrong decision, total wrong decision. I don't know why I did it and they have a break towards the box. It's the number eight, looking to take it past Bradley there. He's defended very well. He's had my back there and he's rightfully so getting onto me. It's the right thing. I made a mistake. It's a long ball up the pitch, the 99 gets his head to it. It's gonna drop here and it's a challenge between Eric and the 18. Eric does well to win it for us. It's cut out by that man, comes to the 23. He's uh, sent Noah to the shop, sent him to Sainsbury's and uh, sent him to get a trolley. It's a ball down the line for the number nine. He cuts it into the box, 26 takes it very nicely, sets it across here to the number eight. It's deflected and it makes its way in. Tolu can't prevent it from going over the line as well. And Highgate capitalizing on yet another very good move. Uh, lovely here from the 23, just sends Noah there. I think Noah could have got tighter maybe. And uh, yeah, I guess it's a bit of trickery from the 23. He plays a lovely pass yet again, a brilliant run from the nine. Cuts it back there, goes across Ben. 26 takes it beautifully and sets it into the path of the nine. Not the greatest of strikes, but sometimes you just need to aim it towards the goal and that will happen. It's pretty much been the same for both their goals. John uh, with the ball, looking to take one quickly, plays it into Tolu and uh, Tolu sells the 26 there for a moment, but the pass is very short across to Ben and the nine's going to get there first. Uh, can he do something here? Looks to Kai inside, take one on his right foot and it's deflected behind for a corner. We have been far too off it. It's been mistake after mistake from all of us and we just don't look like our usual selves. Uh, it's Eri there on the ball, he's brought to the ground and the referee pulls it back for the free kick. Tolu with it now, plays it into Eric. Eric a bit loose with the pass around the corner and yet again causing problems for ourselves. Eight making a run from deep, looks to strike it, good save from John. And right now he's keeping us in it. It's uh, number nine, looking to get another shot off. It's wide of the target, he's hungry for goals though. Ben with it now, plays it into me, round the corner to Eric, takes it away from the seven. He's got Noah to the right. Noah tries to step over, it's not the day to be doing that. We're off the pace already. Bradley with a good challenge on the number eight. Can we break out of defense now? We've just been causing our own problems. Yet again, giving it away there as well, just not on it. Junior does well to win the ball for us though. And he's quickly surrounded. I have to say that Highgate were really pressing us high and not allowing us to escape out of these situations easily. A 2-0 down and as if things can't get any worse, Eri's gone down with an injury and it's looking like we're going to have to make a change. With that, E-man's come onto the pitch and he's in the middle there. Bradley does well to escape from the 23, using his speed nicely. Can he cut it back? It's cut out by the number seven. Uh, decent from Bradley though, a little bit more intensity. It's uh, here with the eight, cut out by Tolu. Played into my feet, quickly surrounded yet again. No room to breathe, Highgate on us. Once more, it's the number eight. Brilliant pass around the corner into the number nine. He's threw it on goal and uh, he lets one fly off the right foot. John's there for us. Bradley plays it back to John. Uh, John 
fakes away from the number nine, looking to clear it on his weaker foot. And that's what's happened. He's given it away to the number seven. We've just, honestly, I think this is the worst I've seen UTR play for ages. I know we've had a few games where we've lost games that we shouldn't have lost, but we've played really badly this game. 23, tries to poke one into the 16. Eric gets there first. I think he was clipped from behind. The referee sees nothing wrong with it and play goes on. E-Man takes too long to release the ball there. Another giveaway from UTR. 16 uh, passes cut out by Tolu. He then spreads it out wide. Brilliant touch from Noah. A little bit loose though. He wins us a throw. We are going to make a change. Maybe this might do something for us. Benny uh, coming on in place of Thomas. It's been difficult for him up there. We haven't really applied or given him much service. Uh, so yeah, it's been a tough one. Come out wide here to Bradley. Uh, takes it in a stride and plays it down the line to Junior behind the 16. Junior looks to cut one back, wins us a corner. That corner goes out swinging. Uh, Reggie gets his head to it, drops down here to the number seven. Uh, seven looking to escape from this position here. It's a difficult one. Tolu strong. He wins us a throw in. That throw in is going to be taken by Bradley. Looking for the front post. Uh, Highgate win the ball. It comes down here to the 18 who clears it. Bradley uh, looking for options. Not really many. Uh, tries to find Benny. It's a ball in behind the referee. Uh, the linesman puts his flag up. Benny there is clattered into by the goalkeeper. He's not happy with it. And Benny does something absolutely ridiculous. Unacceptable. I think he's felt that the goalkeeper's hurt him or winded him, done something to his throat or chest, which he's obviously not happy with. But that is never, ever the way to react. And that is the last thing we needed. We're two goals down. We've not been at it at all today. And uh, we brought Benny on to change the game. He's done that, but not in the way that we wanted to. That is not good enough. Not enough options or Bradley's gone to go forward. We had a few options in the middle, to be fair. But he's played it through to Benny. The keeper's barged into Benny there. I think he's hit him in his upper chest. And uh, Benny, that is horrible, man. And he knows it as well. It's uncharacteristic because I've seen him get fouled numerous times. He's never reacted like that on this day. The day we don't need it, though, he has done. We're going to make a change. We're going to bring Thomas on for Noah. Well, as if it wasn't hard enough already, it's going to get even harder. Brilliant touch from Junior. Comes down here to Thomas. Uh, Thomas, good feet, escapes from three Highgate shirts and plays out wide here to Bradley. A little bit of a loose touch, but he's going to recover it. Cuts the ball back. Comes in here to Thomas. Challenged by the four. Comes back here to Junior. Comes back to me and I'm able to get into the net. It's a goal back against the odds. We've pulled one back. It's 2-1. And uh, believe it or not, it might actually be game on. It's brilliant work in the first place from uh, Reggie to win the ball. Uh, Junior brings it down and it goes to, to Thomas. He worked it out wide to Bradley, put himself into the box, made a nuisance. Comes back here to Junior. His goal bound shot is saved. Comes back to me and I'm just in the right place at the right time to put it away. 2 1 and it's game on. <laughs> So with that, can we finally wake up now? Thomas trying to play one through to Junior. You can see that obviously we're down to 10 men and we're outnumbered clearly. Uh, as Thomas is claiming for a foul, the referee sees nothing wrong with it. It's played into E-Man's feet. E-Man trying to get away from the 18. 18 does well to win the ball. 23 knocks it into the 26. Turns out nicely and plays it into the seven. Uh, seven looks to play it through to the nine. He's onside. I think he's held his run there. And uh, we have to get numbers back to try and deal with this number nine. Looking to take it onto the right foot. Blocked and out for a corner. 26 on the corner, looking deep for the back post. Seven jumping there with Reggie. Uh, Thomas trying to get away from the seven. Got some decent feet, this guy. Done well since coming onto the pitch. And uh, he's definitely made a nuisance of himself. Just over 15 minutes to play. Uh, can we get something out of this game? Played this round the corner into Thomas. He's unable to secure it. Yet again, the Highgate shirt's pressing us. The moment we touch that ball, they're there. And that's the way it has to be. 23 cuts it back across the edge of the box. Uh, controlled by the nine. Gets it hard and low into the goal. And that is 3-1. And that looks like it could be game done. Like I said, it's gotten even harder since we are down to 10 men. Probably the last thing we needed. And I think if we'd gotten that goal with 11 men, it could have been a different game maybe but Highgate have been the better side today and they're showing that it's a ball from the 23 off balance but able to get into the box nine gets it under control and fires it hard and low through Tolu's legs and past John Harry making his way onto the uh, pitch as well it looks like a bit of damage limitation with three one down down to ten men it's not looking good Seven on the ball, driving in field. Uh, Junior trying to get him off balance. He's done well to escape through there. Gets a bit of jam, goes back to him again. Uh, can he get a shot if he does? And John reacts well to tip it over the bar. 
Could have been 4-1 there. Uh, at this point, we just have to do whatever we can. I had to say, it's a, it's a lot of running when you go down to 10 men. And uh, I'm sure Jam experienced that the other week. And this week, it's our turn. Number four, trying to break forward. Brilliant challenge from Eman. Does well to win the ball. I'm going to play this one to Eric. He tries to play it back there. Fours won it. Eric wins it back. Nice little skill through the legs of number seven. He might be able to break here. Got Eric in front of me. Got Thomas there as well. Thomas can't get the ball with him though. And another attack breaks down. Eman in the middle of the park. Forwarded a lot of space and he's able to pick a pass with his left foot out to Eric. Eric has Junior and Thomas only in the box. Nice little step over, escapes from the captain. Uh, plays into the box there. Thomas tries to get under control. Rebounds, comes here to Junior and that's 3-2. Is it game on again? Junior able to pull one back and I think we've actually played better with 10 men than we did with 11. But sometimes that is the way in football. I don't know why. I think it's because you are actually forced to try. Um, but Thomas there, unable to get under control. Rebounds, comes through to Junior and uh, he places it into the goal to make it 3-2. 18 on it, he's been good for them, picked up the ball in plenty of dangerous areas. It's a ball here through for the eight to chase, but Bradley's quicker and he does well to retrieve that for us. It's out wide here with the number seven, trying to find a pass through. It's cut there by Tolu, comes down to this man. The referee's given a free kick. On that free kick is the number 18, clips it for the back post. Seven with a free header across to the five and Harry can't prevent it from going in. That's 4-2. Our hands are out, but I have to say that is just poor defending. We haven't switched on. It's been the story for most of the game, to be honest. And we haven't come out the blocks. It's not been good enough. Despite playing better with 10 men, that's still very poor from us. And the five able to just poke that past John and Harry. <laughs> Junior with it, escapes away from the 18 and he's going to drive into the space. He's got Thomas with him, uh, finds Thomas's feet. Uh, he's done well to escape through that gap. He's got me out wide. I uh, don't think he's going to use me though. He's up against the 5 and the 14. Can he get something for us here? He's done well, uh, just about kept it in play. The referee's looking at his lines when he cuts it back for E-man, but we're standing still there. He's not really had much help. That's where the extra man might help. It's a ball that uh, this 25 has just given away. Uh, I've played it back to Tolu, looking to get it back, but Thomas is offside there. Their goalkeeper goes to take that free kick. He's given it away straight to Eric. Eric slices a pass here through to Thomas. Good control. Looks to slip one back through for Junior. And he's deemed to be offside despite finishing it anyway. Their goalkeeper's cleared one up the pitch. Harry's first to the ball. It's bouncing just on the edge. The goalkeeper's made a mistake. Junior's through and on goal. This could be 4 free here. And Junior's put it over the bar. Beaten by the bounce. A lack of composure in a big moment. And that could have been the chance that maybe put this game right up in the air. But it's gone up in the air in a different way. Junior controls it. It's pulled back a little bit by the goalkeeper. And just off balance, he goes to take it. I think he had a few more touches. It's happened. It can happen to people. And today it's him. Who knows what that would have done if the score went 4-3 with four minutes to go. As it's a long throw into the box. Drops down here. Harry's going to challenge for that with a 7. Uh, comes back here to Bradley. Can he get it back into the box? So one by the 4. Comes to Eman. He's headed it over the bar. And that is the last action of the game. Highgate going through to the semi-finals of the London Cup. And I have to say, on the day, it's deserved, man. They were much better, much more efficient, quick breaking, uh, high pressing. And uh, yeah, a very, very good display from them. I have to say, one of the better sides that we've definitely played in Sunday League. So credit to them. Wish them all the best. Hopefully they can go all the way and um, uh, win the London Cup. But yeah, for us, we have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, a very, very bad performance, I have to say. And I'm sure you guys will agree. But yeah, that is it for this week's Sunday League. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.